college glow-ups happen all the time. People attend school to grow, change, and improve. Just like them, the University of New Mexico campus has seen some pretty impressive improvements over its more than 130-year history. Beautiful upgrades to meet the needs of an evolving university and student body. So what are the most stunning building renovations on campus? And what are the past lives of some of UNM's most beautiful outdoor spaces? Welcome to UNM. And today, we're counting down our top five campus glow-ups. Starting our countdown at number five, Smith Plaza is one of the most recent of our picks to experience a renovation, but has a long history of upgrades dating back decades. Originally, the area now known as the Plaza was used as a road until the end of the 1960s. This road separated Zimmerman Library from Zimmerman Stadium, which previously occupied the space that eventually became the Humanities Building, Ortega Hall and Woodward Hall. In the early 1970s, Smith Plaza was completed and became a staple space on UNM's campus. Largely a pathway and gathering space, the brick-laid square has served a significant role in daily campus life since then and became the center of attention in 2018 when it was reimagined into the plaza we know today. Using the materials from the original space, the 3.3-acre Smith Plaza now boasts an award-winning design that enhances the space for both academic and social activities with an emphasis on student accessibility. Number four. A favorite study place for many, Zimmerman Library was built in the early 1930s with funding from the New Deal. Since its construction, it's been the center of academic study for most Lobos. And though the outside stands as a historical icon to its original construction, the Zimmerman Library Learning Commons offers a completely reconfigurable and technology-friendly study area with rolling furniture, privacy panels, perfect for semi-secluded meetings, triple the number of outlets, and even a locking charging station to charge your phone or laptop while you hit the Zimmerman Starbucks for a caffeine recharge too. And though things look just a little different right now, you'll find a wide range of colorful and comfortable lounge and workspace options to help support both individual students and soon study groups too. It's a glow up that's made studying at Zimmerman one of the best parts of being a Lobo. This glow up has actually seen several upgrades over more than a century. Coming in at number three is a building steeped in a rich history intertwined with not only the University of New Mexico, but the state of New Mexico. Now occupied by UNM's Alumni Association, Hodgen Hall was the first building constructed by the university, finished in 1892. It housed students, had multiple classrooms, meeting spaces, and a library. It was originally built with red brick and a steep pitched roof that seemed to mimic many New England school aesthetics. The roof was eventually deemed too heavy for the building and could not withstand the climatic conditions of Albuquerque. So in 1908, UNM President William Tite decided that the building would be renovated in a Pueblo Revival design, historically defining the style and feel of future buildings on UNM's campus. In 1922, a large metal U was also placed on top of the building, which would light up at every home game for the Lobo football team. Decades after the U statue came down, a new U was built in the courtyard in front of Hodgen Hall, and it still lit up to commemorate key achievements and celebrations on UNM's campus. Even the Alumni Center Plaza just east of Hodgen experienced its own glow up, becoming the Dr. Karen Abraham Courtyard in 2016, complete with young shade trees, benches, and a beautiful central fountain. A towering structure of glass inspired by contemporary architecture, the Ferris Engineering Center slots in at number two on our list. Originally built in 1967, Ferris featured a thick, concrete exterior with thin, covered parallel windows running along the sides of the building. As time went by, the needs of the departments housed within Ferris changed drastically. When it was clear a renovation would be necessary to meet the requirements for the growing and evolving School of Engineering, a plan was set in motion to begin a dramatic renovation that would keep the structural bones of the building intact. In 2016, Ferris began its transformation into a groundbreaking facility that promotes innovation and creativity with dozens of individual study rooms, conference rooms, shared spaces and offices. It's become a hub for collaboration and innovation. Plus, it's energy efficient, with electrochromatic glazed windows that wrap the building and lighten and darken based on UV light from the sun. With a strikingly modern exterior and high-tech components inside, Ferris stands as a reminder of UNM's ability to be at the cutting edge of technology and science. 
Before we show our top choice, here's a few honorable mentions. Recently listed in our top five unique buildings, the pit is a great example of a glow up. The 2010 renovation included an external facelift, but left the old building exterior visible from the inside, a nod to its past. There's a lot more to admire here than just our ever howling basketball teams. The basketball and volleyball courts near Casas del Rio are a great place for students to come together and have fun, but they haven't always been the most attractive campus spots. Described as rough around the edges prior to its redecoration, the Lower Johnson area was completely made over with new paving and sand pits in 2014 and became a highlight of UNM where Lobos could come together on campus. Coming in at number one, UNM's Johnson Recreation Center. Named after a prestigious head coach of UNM, Roy Johnson, the gym was built in 1957 and hosted UNM's basketball games, volleyball games, and physical education courses. Johnson was built with 170,000 square feet and had more than 300 rooms complete with a swimming pool, a smaller gymnasium, handball courts, offices, and more. It served as the university's primary stadium, seating more than 8,000 audience members and was home to the Lobo basketball team until the pit opened in the mid-60s. Scheduled to reopen in the fall of 2020, parts of Johnson Recreation Center have been entirely renovated. With a new elevated running track, area for the outdoor adventure and bike shop, a cycling studio, training rooms, an upgraded gym, and so much more, the Johnson Recreation Center has a lot to look forward to and boasts one of the greatest campus glow-ups in recent history. Lobos, do you agree with our list? What are your favorite campus glow ups? Let us know in the comments below and remember to like, subscribe and follow for more from the University of New Mexico. Stay safe and healthy and we can't wait to see you next time.